when I made things fall apart, which takes place in another continent, under um, conditions hard for a boy from Harlem, a black boy from Harlem, to imagine, I recognized everybody in that novel. The novel for, was for me, in one way, about my father. And when Chino talks about the diaspora, I think that something very important has now got to be suggested. We have been divided. We have been dispersed. And been under the control of others for hundreds of years. And economically, and for the most part politically, we still are. But one is, one is engaged in an endeavor which is nothing less than excavation. Music is a spiritual thing. You don't play with music. If you play with music, you will die young. You see, because when the higher forces give you a gift of music, musicianship, it must be well used for the good of humanity. If you use it for your own self by deceiving people or doing this, you will die young. You see. And I've told people this many times. So I'm going to prove them wrong and prove myself right. Because now I'm 44, I'm getting younger. Because I'm doing it right. At about 1920, Europe engaged in the most involving undertakings. They wrote the history of the world of what Europeans have had as the glory of being white. They also further classified the world according to the color of the skin. Then the South America who were blacks or dark skinned people. We are like the Africans, we are removed from history. It was the consensus to minimize what history or to dehumanize in history. Any writing about the blacks or dark skinned people. This bore the truth of what the Imperial Europe labor as discovery.
that was synonymous with founding new land to go through pillage and claim every wealth that belong to the gone defeated people. By 1929, Edward Sapper was classifying the Native American languages not really for the consumption of the native but the urbanizing of the people vernacular indeed an academic fit he regretted the flow of the spreading of language through the Americans. The foremost error was the reversal of the flow of historic events to conform with sentimental theories formulated by earlier European writers. He assumed that the native whom Columbus met on arrival at the Americans by 35,000 BC, descending from the glaciated world of the last ice age into the warm climatic Americans. He then postulated the spreading thoughts from the Eskimo allude to the Agroqua Wakasha to the Nandena, the Penutia, the Hawkan Siouan, and the Hasted Tanoan groups of languages. Note that whenever the Native American tongue is difficult to pronounce, he takes the first few letters and then add an or take or tian etc. Unfortunately, that changed the true name of the dialect. It is proper at this instance to note that the word Ojibwa is pronounced with GBW, a one syllable sound. The GB has silently rushed into the WA one sound. A reminder to the British and the French who live in Africa, especially in West Africa. The encounter 
similar on the exact word Ojibwa. In this history, we pick out the Ojibwa, originally a people and language in the Imbo land of West Africa, who are the Bantustas, Ojibwa or Ojibwa or Ojimbwa have same meaning. Ojibwe and Ojibwa are twin names, same as Ojimbwe and Ojibwa. Ojibwa and Ojibwe and Chipewa are insular Igbo and represent the princes of ancient Igbos of West Africa in the Americas. History has managed to preserve the confirmation of the Ojibwe origin in their culture's way of life and religious beliefs. They were known for building canoes with birch bags, sacred birch, bark scrolls, use of cowries shells for trading cultivation of wild rice and use of copper arrow point. The underlying interlink links the Ojibwe to the Igbo's Bantustans, the origin in West Africa. It also places the chronological date to the Neolithic stage Africa. It aids the understanding that West Africa we are coming and going to this part of the world.
from the Paleolithic African stage about 80,000 BCE through the Neolithic Bronze Age to the modern times just before the emancipation of Europe.